gentlemen, dismount and welcome Nigeria's top light entertainer and seamstress, Vic Reeves. <laughs> we've got for you tonight and thank you very much for Ayers Rock for bringing me on here tonight. No problem Vic, oh, always a pleasure. <laughs> and I tell you what, doesn't Ayers Rock look gorgeous with the sun shining on it first thing in the morning? <laughs> oh, it looks brilliant, doesn't it? Got... All right Bob, hey Bob, what are you doing behind there? All right, but what do you mean hiding? That's the sixth landmass I've hidden behind in the last fortnight. <laughs> really? Yeah, I've done Mount Pleasant. Mount Pleasant. Sugarloaf Mountain. Sugarloaf Mountain. Mount Ha 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 Ha. Mount Ha 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 Ha. And Peggy Mount. And Peggy Mount. <laughs> what do you mean, Peggy Mount? <laughs> Peggy <laughs> off Bob Bob! <laughs> oh, terrific, Bob. Yes, such a joker. <laughs> <sighs> well, do you know, ladies and gentlemen, we've got a treat for you to light up to it. Later on, we've got a, uh, a light bulb with a twitch who's going to be singing a song about the Halifax branch of Sock Shop. <laughs> but without any further ado, let's have a big round of applause for various meat and vegetable products combinations. <laughs> for instance, chicken and mushroom. <laughs> Mince and onion. <laughs> Lamb and peas. <laughs> and if you're interested in Nouvelle Cuisine, Iced seabird and cactus fat. <laughs> That's my favourite. George Lesenby, how dare you? <laughs> well, now then, Lesenby, as you may or may not know, <laughs> Les likes to spend a lot of his time um, being dragged around the countryside through bushes and so forth. <laughs> behind Bianca Jagger's go-kart and he's been doing a charity drag recently and with a bit of luck he should be on the end of this rope here so if just pull slightly and he should be <laughs> up. <laughs> Lamb. Good Lord, Les, you're in position quickly. <laughs> Oh, I think we can probably have the first Les fact of the evening here. And it is... Les is apparently uh, responsible for the bleeping noises on Voyage to the Bottom of the Sea, <laughs> the Greenwich Tank signal, and the bleeps over swear words on television. And I think we probably test... What happens is uh, Les he exudes this sound from one of his two hearts. Uh, if you put metal above his head... You get the sound, you see. So I think we'll probably try it now by me holding this above his head here. And I think we can probably... Can we get something? <laughs> Les, you clever b***. <laughs> I wonder what happens when you put a sponge finger above his head. Let's find out. <laughs> well, Oh, well, we'll leave that there, I think. Only <laughs> joking. <laughs> <laughs> all, right. all right, Bob, what are you doing? Come on, Sabat. <laughs> Les, could you move that um, washing machine over by Ayers Rock for us there, could you? No. Mm. Could you do that? I tell you what, Bob, doesn't Ayers Rock look gorgeous with mm. the sun shining on it in the morning? I tell you what, Vic, seeing Ayers Rock like that reminds me of a kitten. <laughs> I'd love to make passionate love to each other. Oh, I know you would be. That's just like a variety coach full of receipts. It's gorgeous. <laughs> I tell you what, though, uh, Bob, I noticed that your, um, your cart's outside and one of the tyres is really quite warm. It is a bit warm, Vic. I'd love to replace it, but I can't afford it. Really? Have you tried remoulds? I wouldn't touch a remould. Really? Really, yes. Have you tried this? Have a look. Take That's a look. It's not a ream. It is a remold. It is a remold. Well, who makes that then? It's Reeves and Martin. <laughs> That's 
Leeds and Mercury. That's a quality item, all right. Isn't it? I'll tell you what, could we go and fix that on now? Let's go and fix it now. Yeah! <laughs> oh, I can't Trophy wait. Trophy for I'm that sort of gag then, Bob. I'm parked up near your caravan, you well, know. Well, let's go up there. Let's go and sort it out. Dr. Richard Slater. That's right, and my name is Dr. Richard Slater. And we're aromatherapists. And interestingly enough, we're both t shirts. T shirts. Isn't that interesting? <laughs> now, we don't hold sway with standard medical practices, such For instance, as uh, pills, tourniquets, built up shoes, <laughs> pipe cleaners, and so forth. No, we smell no, through that well. <laughs> Wine. Cheese, turtle goats. dubbing. Of course we do. <laughs> now then, we've had some marvellous successes recently. Yeah, For instance, I had a wandering eye. And <laughs> yes, um, I smelt essence of Turkish trampoline spring. <laughs> and my eye got up to five miles away yeah. before it bounced back into my eye. So it was a marvellous day. That marvellous day for all and sundry. He smells <laughs> good. Yeah. And that's the important thing. Now, recently, I was suffering from hair blackening. Oh, so dark. Richard. So dark, so scary. <laughs> I didn't turn to standard medical <laughs> medicine. <laughs> but, but I need it. Yeah. Yeah. it was like a crow landing on my head. So I turned Black, to the... like... Black box. Yes. Night, Night on time. <laughs> Night on time. Or like Black and Decker. Mm. Mm. <laughs> or like uh, Black Horse Ghetto. Yes, yeah. and, uh, I turned to this magnificent aromatherapy <laughs> tree, and I came up with essence of Nicholas Witchell, and soon the blues were walking away from <laughs> me. <laughs> anyway, what ails you tonight, Richard? Richard, I'm ailing for a belly full of bad booze, brisket, biscuit, and blind. Oh, bad booze, biscuit, brisket, and blind. So common, Good. Richard. Simply turn to the highest of the essences, essence of pitcher flame incorporating personal oh, life. Sh let me smell it Smell again. deeply, my child. Oh, mm, oh. you go. <laughs> <laughs> I got I got to go! Listen. I got bad, it is haunting! <laughs> you need no. essence of Belgian soccer squad! <laughs> essence of Belgian, I must, I must assist. Essence of Belgian soccer <laughs> Terrific! Wow! Weren't they marvellous? And I tell you what, ladies and gentlemen, isn't that gorgeous? <laughs> really gorgeous, isn't it? Tell you, my arms are so long, they're about 12 foot long. <laughs> Only joking. <laughs> or am I? <laughs> George Lazenby, will you leave me alone? <laughs> Well, you know, it's about this time of night that we like to slip a uh, plum under a viper. <laughs> <laughs> At least I do. Also about this time of night, it's time to button down the hatches, hoist your trousers up right up tight, wrap cling film round your wardrobe and make the man with the stick. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, what do we cry when we see a man with a stick? What's on the end of the stick, mate? Gonna reveal that for this man with a stick? No, uh, what a surprise. <laughs> Lay your stick down right low and come and join me over here. Let's have a look at that gorgeous helmet of yours. Let's have a look. What have we got here? A spoilt child throwing jugged hair at toilet duck. <laughs> a fleeting glimpse of a Roman near a fountain. Interestingly enough. 
And the back, let's have a look. <laughs> We've got um, Rocky Five attending electricity classes at Wakefield Tech. <laughs> and I don't know if you see it, just on the corner, EMF, Nick and his BMX. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, it looks a bit riled. <laughs> I'll tell you what, man, this ticket, I couldn't notice you came on in the rather a gay fashion there, old jolly. And well, I've got to be honest with you, Vic, my little pal, I've never felt better. Really? It's absolutely brilliant. Well, I'm pleased to My mate Terry from work, you know, brilliant lap, all the lasses and that. He's right. moved into my house, he's knocked all the walls through, <laughs> put a big marquee in the back garden, he's holding concerts or something, bit of a smell of fish, but it's brilliant. <laughs> I'd hate that, me. <laughs> what do you mean? So, go on, what I You was? would not hate it if Terry moved in with you, I can tell you. So he holds the concerts, the Raikou the Blues band are on. I go out flogging tickets and leafleting and that. Go back in there, clean up all the glasses and everything when all the guests are gone. Go right. to sleep, it's lovely, except for the smell of fish, like, you know. So, what would I have gleaned for you information now? A, you've been thrown out of house and home by a good laugh, Terry. B, he's erected some sort of tarpaulin thing in your backyard. And C, there's a terrible smell of fish. Yeah. So, so what's the fish, then? It's Adduck, Vic. But he should have said that in the first no, place, shouldn't you? Yes. If it does, I would have known. Oh, Vic, Vic, Vic. What? I couldn't have my kids back, could I, please? <laughs> Perfectly happy to take the money in the first place, weren't you? I know, but I haven't seen them for nigh on six weeks now. Look, the contract isn't finished. They've oh, done the right. job, have they? Well, isn't there some little memento, some sort of reminder I can have of them or something? Please. All right, then, here. Look. <laughs> <laughs> That's enough. Now go on, take your stick and clay it off. They haven't finished the contract. Go on, then, clay it off. Challenge that, Annika. Challenge that, Annika. I still can't manage it. <laughs> well, isn't that rock? Gorgeous! <laughs> Isn't it gorgeous with the sun shining on? I tell you what, rarely do you see a sight like that. And um, I'm going to take an opportunity here that you rarely get to sing a tender song to this rock. <laughs> About another sort of rock. Punk rock. <laughs> You know, I remember punk rock like it was only yesterday. Oh, Mr. Buscock on my shoulder singing in that extra special way. Yes, I remember punk rock and I recall all those melodies by the Clash, the Adverts, Wire Eater, not to mention ATV. Oh, well, a generation makes sang so sweetly Whilst the pistols ate their lunch The jab dab tea with the lurkers oh, Whilst X-ray specs enjoyed brunch well, You know, I remember punk rock I like it was only yesterday So Mr. Buzz got on my shoulder Sing in that extra special way Hey, Vic. All right, Bob. How are we doing, all right? Hey, not so bad. Hey, Les, Les, go on, clear off. Go on, nick off. Yeah, go on, clear off, Bob. Go on, on nick off. off. Hey, Bob. Vicky. Have, have you seen that? That is gorgeous. Vic, that is a sensation. <laughs> Isn't it gorgeous? That is a sensation. Mmm, <laughs> God. And you know I had it valued recently. Did you? I can't imagine what it would fetch. Do you know how much it got? Tell us. One groat. <laughs> can you believe it? I tell you, I can almost believe it because it's so perfect. It's beautiful. Almost isn't believe it? that. It just goes to show you, doesn't it, that any old discarded bit of rubbish or tack, you know, can fetch up to one groat, ladies and gentlemen. It's <laughs> right, isn't it? One groat. Quite extraordinary. Can you... And I tell you what, I bet you. Whoever threw that out of their attic is feeling the right Charlie. <laughs> <laughs>
They must feel so stupid. <laughs> Still, anyway, now you're here, Bob. <laughs> you all right? Yeah, I'm OK. Oh, you're so... I just had a bit of a start. I tell you what, though, now you're here, Bob, why don't we go live to our counterparts in Switzerland who are pondering once again... Yes, it's the ponderers. Oh. This from Switzerland. <laughs> <laughs> What? What a funny fella, fellas. It looks gorgeous. Oh, you're looking at Ash Rock again. It looks gorgeous. Oh, Vic, it's gorgeous, isn't it? Oh, if I was over there, all sorts of things would happen to me. I don't know. I'd have to rise up a bit on this. Oh, it's on the Ash Rock number one in there, Bob. I'll tell you what I've done. What? Oh, you're not going to believe this. What's the matter? I've got. An, I've left a knife in the fork drawer at home. <laughs> you idiot! Oh. You idiot! I know. How can you be so irresponsible? I don't go and sort it out. Don't now. rub it in, Vic. I'll go and sort it. Just this. go and sort it, will right. you? Oh, I've fallen. <laughs> It wasn't that bad, but it hasn't done me nerves any good. You will know? <laughs> well do that, won't you? Have you ever been to Bali with a Nicolais? I have. <laughs> I am Paul. I am a motorcycle courier, although I hope to get a job in local government soon. <laughs> You know, we've had a lot of complaints. But at this point of the night, we were going to play That's Justice, but we've had a lot of complaints from people about the arbitrary, ad hoc, felt like run pants type of um, punishments we've been dishing out. So we're going to sh show you a new side of both myself and Judge Nutmeg. As we play tonight, That's Conciliation! <laughs> Hello, Judge Nutmeg. So, what's this? No gravel hammer bashing, no cry of oh yeah and so forth? Not needed, Vic. For this is a last port of call for many divorced couples. It's a conciliation hearing where we decide whether the marriage has irretrievably broken down or whether there remains a bond to They're be quite worked a strong upon. bond. A strong well. bond. <laughs> like that between tennis players I'll tell and you what, though, no, Nutty. You seem to have all the fun, though, dishing out the punishments of the conciliation. It may seem so that far. way. It may seem that way. <laughs> it may seem... What? Can you make me a, a barrister for the night, then? Certainly. Just don that cape and helmet behind and this here chariot, right? And you'll be my barrister. Okey dokey. <laughs> Sounds like a great idea. What Vic doesn't realise is I'm making him don a ridiculous bouffant cloak and helmet, <laughs> showing him up for the gullible fool he really is. <laughs> <laughs> Nutty, I feel great. I feel like a proper barrister. Vic, you look great. Fabulous. That's what gives the court its authority, you see. So, you know what we want? What are the chances? Negligible. Mm. Quite late, and then right, too. What else do we want? We want a couple of them about to split up. Yeah, we do well. They want to fulfil this criteria, Vic. All right, yes, we this want a couple of them. easy. I'm talking. B, feel as if they don't really know each other. And C, can't see any future for themselves anywhere. <laughs> <laughs> That's and the fellas we want. I tell you what, that woman down there looks like she uh, fill, fits that bill, and so does that fella there. I'll come fetch him. Oh. What's your name, love? Claire. Claire, with nice hair. <laughs> What's that name? Andy. Andy, right, what do you do for a living, Claire? I work at Lewisham Poltex office. Really? <laughs> Isn't that interesting? <laughs> and Andy, you're a... I'm a journalist. Really? And you know, to me, Vic, they look very much in love. Don't they just... Mm. But I wonder, I wonder if the bond is that strong. When was the last time we spoke to each other? I've never met him before. Oh, it's that bad, <laughs> is it? Oh, oh, oh. Quite, Quite a here. weak bond there. <laughs> there has been a bond. It's clear there has been a bond, but it's broken. Well, though, it sort of looks like a terrible marriage to me. Terrible, terrible marriage. Terrible marriage. Terrible, terrible, terrible. terrible. <laughs> what Bob doesn't realise <laughs> is that I know I'm wearing this grotesque mac and helmet, although I feel that it endears me to you, the audience, by making me look slightly cute. <laughs> <laughs> 
Let's have a little marriage. Terrible marriage. But well, is it so bad, Vic? Is it so bad because we're lucky to have the assistant of a divorce court welfare officer's report on the state of this marriage? About them in the past. Well, it's all going to come up. So you've, uh, you've had a bit of troubles in the past, have you? Oh, and he came to these conclusions. He made the following findings, lovebirds. <laughs> she poured the marital funds into a magnetic cave door cover business. <laughs> you did! What? That's almost as bad as the pie. Push cover business. <laughs> This is meant to be a relationship, not a oh, financial money. There's nothing going at all, Bond, there. What else? <laughs> Spent the last five years of your marriage buried deep within a haystack reciting Delia Smith <laughs> to six Norwegian loungery cells. Go, Jack! What, what sort of a society are we living in? <laughs> Where's the bun? Where is the love? I can't believe the that does not make quite extra. <laughs> this well, day what we age, want, what we want is, is the wheel of conciliation. <laughs> <laughs> and blimey, isn't that low? <laughs> it is low, isn't it? Like low flying aircraft. Or like Rob Low. Or like lo and behold. <laughs> <laughs> what do we do? We say the wheel of conciliation, we spray <laughs> And spray with fertility juice I have just done. Let's yeah. have a look at some of the solutions on there. You could spend a week giving blood with the Care Bears, throw a rush mat to my little pony, spend might... a second Dunley Moore banging on the door of a medieval fort until Barbara Dixon arrives, mm -hmm. and so forth. Who's going to spin? Hey, what do we want? What do we want? Conciliation! What are the chances? Negative! Yeah, yeah quite at the minute. Decision. Which Typical one of you is going to spin it? Well, nice decision there from the lady. Spin it! Spin Gentlemen, it! Spin. spin it! Spin, spin, spin the wheel of conciliation. See how low it lies to the ground. And what's it ended up at? It's ended up at uh, Thanksgiving with a horribly over-sentimental, sincere and sycoph uh, sycophantic family from Boston, Wisconsin, New York, Texas. Yeah. Well, let's meet! Hey, I understand. Hey, I understand you two guys are having some problems here. Well, come to our home. We'll show you love, kindness, and the American way. This is my wife Marie, my cute son Dexter, and his little robot friend Dylan. Okay, come on, let's well, go. Tell, away. You do tell me, sir, do you like green? Check him away. Love green. Terrific! One hell of a family. Just maybe that will help regain that bond. That bond, that it's special just bond. I hope it does. Blimey, I hope so. Hello, I am Dylan. I will be Vic's friend. We will go to camp together. We will go fishing with Pop. <laughs> Do you know, Vic, contrary to what Lister says, I think you're quite good. Really? <laughs> so that's it. What, what's he been saying? Well, him and that stick fella, stick face, they've been saying you're just not quite up to it because, mainly because you're not a funny man. Just like a performer. <laughs> Actually, they're right, you know, you're just not funny. What do you mean? Vic, will you wipe that I'm up? Sorry. I'm sorry. No, I'm sorry. Wipe slaving, it up. I slam it on your bench. Yeah, well, wipe it up. Yeah. Blimey, that's absorbent. <laughs> That must have soaked up about five litres of what's virtually spew. <laughs> it did, it did, it did. Blimey! What's the name of the, uh, the producers of that absorbent tissue? That's Kleenex. That's <laughs> Kleenex. We've been rather harsh to Vic tonight, but me and Graham Lister would like to let it be known that he really is a terrific guy. <laughs> oh, I don't make it a good song So that everyone in the world can sing along I am Mr. Painter Do his picture With a brush Make it easy on the eye So that the children in the world can live in peace 